All right, Happy New Year. Brad Ward here with Ward's Auctions, and it is just about time for the January auction. Smaller number of lots, but really nice quality pieces. The artwork is going to just blow your mind. So you're going to have to take your time and look through the whole building. Um, the sale itself is Sunday, January 27th, starting at 11 a.m. Doors will open at 9. And that's for the live and online portion. So you're used to that live bidding uh, online during the live sale and pre-bidding, of course. And then Monday night, starting at 6 o'clock, we start closing the online only portion. And there's about, I don't know, 400 lots in there. And I think every 30 seconds something closes. We'll cover that uh, a bit more later on. Uh, preview is Friday the 25th from 4 o'clock until 8 o'clock. All the details at wardsauctions.com. Let's go have a look. All right, in all seriousness, there is a terrific collection of artwork in the sale and smalls, and we're just get, there's no way that we can that I can cover it all in this little video. I, it would be a five hour long video, um, but there's you know Joan, Joan Mira, uh, Constance D Dipsy, uh, uh, Bernard Buffet. There is uh, Picasso's. There is uh, as we're, while we're going by it, this is a, a whale vertebrae, a carved whale vertebrae. No signature on that, oddly enough. Um, Mel Heath, there's originals, there's good vintage proper lithographs, um, Willie Dupree, uh, Salvador Dali is behind me, and, and not just one, not just two, but several pieces. Uh, the list goes on and on, so you need to take the time, look through the catalog, everything is well described and well photographed, good proper antique cabinetry here. This bronze, uh, David standing on Goliath's head. Um, Goliath has seen better days, but that's the whole deal. A nice French bronze there. Again, original pieces back there. Uh, there's a fried pal there. There's a round bed. You may have already seen that featured in the opening. Carved soapstone, a few Persian rugs, not very many this time. Um, that sort of is a, as always, is a random. You never know what's going to come in from one sale to another. These are absolutely wonderful. Uh, Eve's Gypsy, uh, no, sorry, uh, Eve's Dai. And these are all nudes, one, two, three, four, five, six, five nudes, six nudes, seven nudes. Uh, there's also some other pieces by the same artist in di a different style, uh, more like this. And then there's some larger ones around the building. So have a good look at those as well. Those are favorite as far as I'm concerned. In the cabinets, you're also going to see a different layout in the room here this time. Uh, if you were at the December sale, which was not an estate sale, uh, you would have seen it set up like this. But it is a little bit different layout for cabinetry. Burke Sterling, uh, sorry, my apologies. I don't think it's Burke's, but it's a Sterling flatware set, Sterling tea set inside here, little miniature Sterling plate set on a, on a Welsh dresser style display. Um, below that is Burke's, of course, you can see. you got little carved ivory figures. Some are Netsky's, some are not. I think the flatware below that is, is Sterling. This is a fantastic ship's clock. And take a look at it. The Ulysses uh, Narden, and look, you can see it working. And it's on the gimbal. This is the proper ship's clock. And there's the case that it goes into with it as well. Some other little Sterling bits and bobs. The next cabinet as we come around, Dresden style figures, a fantastic little selection of near mint uh, Japanese battery operated toys. Good proper vintage Japanese battery operated. You just don't see them that often and certainly not in that kind of condition. Some more carvings down there, there's figurines, there's the, there's the gold washed flatware. I don't think it's ever been used. Um, Borsato figurines, they're all very romantic scenes, very Italian, very romantic and the swashbuckling kind of a guy is rescuing the ladies and you know, very well done. If you take a look at them, they're very well done. Victorian furniture is in front of the stage here, including a loo table. In here we've got carved soapstones, we've got Swarovski crystal, we've got cranberry, Moorcroft. Um, hand-painted cups and saucers, a little organizer here, I'm not sure if that's a dresser piece or a, or a, a letter writing piece. There's a, there's a copper pot in the front of this stage that I swear to you, like you need two hands to pick that up. It's labeled IMP, I'm not 100% sure what that is. That is as heavy as a house, you have to have a look at that thing. This tea set in front of the stage is also sterling. 
And it's a, the tray itself is not. This is Burke Sterling, four piece. And then, uh, although you do on occasion see a silver tr a Sterling tray, most of the time they're not. Some neat candlesticks there. This mission table and chair set in the front actually has eight chairs with it, two armchairs and six side chairs, mission style, modern, nice quality, two big leaves to go inside this, so you could put all eight chairs around that. Lots of Royal Albert on top here, another working clock, a, a carved Asian motif cabinet there, or a secretary if you will. Davenport needs a little bit of love, that'd be a good project for somebody to, to fix up and restore. Nice selection of antique and, and almost antique furniture. This is a great piece, um, Peruvian made, I believe. And cash is the is the, uh, the the name of it. And I forget the. It's an artisan piece, obviously. Very very cool. Um, all wood, very solid. This from the personal collection of us. Been sitting on a cabinet for a long time. There's always somebody asking, uh, Hey, when are you going to sell that? Hey, when are you going to sell that? And apparently, I'm going to sell it on Sunday. Antique cabinet here, more artwork over here. We can't go and show everything. Every wall in the building has artwork that is worth looking at and worth bidding on. As I walk along here, we're gonna go buy Chagall's. We're gonna go buy an original Gissing. We are gonna go buy uh, this interesting metallic Baz Relief peaceful figure um, of the Last Supper. Interesting piece for sure. Then into the next room, um, we have to whisper as we come into here because Linda and Jim are working. Well, I only see Jim working and Linda's missing in action. She's on the phone. She's on the phone. Uh, Linda and Jim Bagley from, uh, from Bud Haynes Auctions, cataloging firearms, March 16th for that. Then we get into jewelry. We, you, again, you can see how we've changed the room. The cabinets that they're in the other room, the tall ones are in the other room. So we have low cabinets along here. Costume jewelry, sterling jewelry, gemstone, amber, <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, as we get into the next cabinet, you're going to find a pretty good selection of antique pocket watches. Almost all of them, if not all of them, working uh, strong at the time of cataloging, and they are cataloged as such. If they're working during uh, during well, when we catalog and we mark it in there, again, does not represent a warranty. It just tells you that you can bid with a, a reasonable amount of confidence. We also have the business cards. For the, for the gentleman down in, uh, or the business, I guess it's the, the father, son maybe, in California that does the service and repair for, for one of our regular old time consigners and clients and buyers that, uh, it, that sends us stuff down there and has great luck. This that we're looking at now, three Rolex watches from the estate. The President's one on the left, the, the 18 karat gold one, yellow gold, has all the original packaging or most of it, if not all of it. It's appraised at $36,500. Obviously working strong, 27 joule chronometer movement. Uh, it's, of course it's gonna work strong. The, the date just, which is actually Stainless and yellow gold, also the same 27 jewel movement, so a great piece there. The ladies one, I'll bet you, I'll bet you 12 bucks that has never actually been owned by a lady. I think it was probably bought as a gift or something like that and never got gifted, never got worn. And, um, and so, and I think it's a $5,100 appraisal. More pocket watches. Uh, gold and gemstone jewelry. Really good selection of early stamps, and again from the estate where you know he obviously wanted to have some better pieces. You know we see lots of you know albums filled with schmutz over the years, but here's a little selection of, of really neat pieces. So we won't get into all the descriptions, but but you you know again you you look on the website and you're going to see lots more jewelry as we come along to the end here, and we do have some appraisals. So as an example, this pearl one, pearl and little gold beads you can sort of see um, is a Burke's piece. I don't, I, don't remember, I don't know if we have an appraisal on that one, but it's a Burke's piece. It's very small. I'm going to guess it is for a baby's christening and, uh, and what a fantastic piece it would be for that. We've got Sherman pieces down here. Uh, we got that solitaire diamond. Let me see if I can find the appraisal. And remember we do stand behind our appraisals. Uh, that solitaire diamond is $14,000 appraisal, 14 karat yellow gold, 1.21 carats, close enough to one and a quarter carat. Um, then we got a couple pairs of earrings. One's appraised at, at uh, 9,000 and change. We have appraisals for the watches here too, so make sure you get those. Now these ones up here, 
appraised at 9,200. They are 1.44 carats. Uh, the other ones are appraised at about 1,800. They are Canadian diamonds. Um, there's an antique brooch behind there, or a pin behind there. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, let's have a peek at the smalls tables here. I think there was stuff I was supposed to mention out of the other side that I kind of forgot. And uh, there's oriental pieces here, clay. Uh, there's two samovars, at least two that I can think of. One of them we skimmed over. I should have mentioned it in the other room. And here's another one that's here. The other one is, is bigger even, um, which is cool. This is really neat. Little vintage uh, drinks pump. <laughs> Look at this one here. Being an aviation enthusiast, it's a, it's a shaker, aviation themed shaker. Uh, more Royal Albert here. As we come down here, Art Nouveau uh, hand hammered copper coal hod. Uh, another little samovar there. This is the neatest thing ever. I don't know if I still need those notes. This is, I guess, my interpretation is a convertible or a two piece pot it's labeled PR. Heavy, heavy again, hand hammered copper. You got that, and then because of the, the design of the bottom of that, it does sit flat. That's a frying pan as well. Again, how cool is that? Cranberry glass, some prints here. Uh, I'm not sure what's in the box. Looks like it's some, oh, this is a sextant. We don't want to ignore that. Lot 184, a very cool sextant. That would be neat to display in the office. Stuff comes in and I forget sometimes that it's uh, what all is happening here. Uh, these are heavy cast iron architectural uh, stair railings. There's more copper here. Um, these are French bronzes that somebody painted. Somebody fixed them up for you, shall we say. So I don't know, um, I, were it me, I think I would dip them in a, in a stripper and see what happens. You don't want to get all abrasive and use wire brushes and, and, uh, and sandpaper or anything silly like that. You're just going to want to use chemical, which might sound harsh, but that's what I would do. I, you know, again, I'm not going to pretend to be um, a restorer of that type of thing, but it definitely is worth doing something with. There's stuff on the other row, row we don't have time to get to. I do want to point out this near mint condition, the original six hockey game. The guys have not been molested at all. None of the sticks have been curved. There's hardly any circling from being played. The original pins for the score, the original balls, uh, doesn't have the sliders which is, you know, the earlier versions of this. The nets have never been, I don't think it's ever, well, of course, it's never been played with. It, it somehow ended up somewhere. This is the original box for it. Uh, there's a nice desk organizer beside there as well. Again, there's a whole other row of stuff there. But instead of going over there, those of you that are familiar with us are gonna see we have uh, increase the convenience for the online bidding gallery. We have now a doorway from the regular smalls room, if you will, into the online gallery. So what happens over here? Lots starting at 1,000 and up are being bid right now, actually, even as we film this. They got posted at the same time as, as the other side, uh, as much as it will be an update at the same time that this video is getting updated. These are all online uh, timed auctions. So you're bidding on them right now. And then starting on Monday, on the 28th, at 6 o'clock, starting at lot 1000, they start to close. And I think it's every 30 seconds something closes. There's about 400 lots, or less than 400 lots, but every 30 seconds something closes. There's furniture in here. There's lamps. There's a few smalls over there, glassware, depression glass. Artwork. There's a million pieces of artwork in this side, and there's some decent pieces. There's some... You know, there's some lower end pieces, but there are some good pieces, and there's a whole other room for it. Yeah, this is all firearms accessories. Obviously, there's nothing in here that needs a firearms license, uh, just to keep it simple. So, you, no worries there, but there's lots of good lots. These are good lots, 511 gear. Um, this whole thing of synthetic stocks, all one big, uh, one, one lot, one price. So, again, all through here, there's display cases. This is all in the online only sale. This is a one person stand on sleigh. I would have absolutely killed for that when I was a kid. I don't know if anybody remembers Super Sliders. Super Slider Snow Skates, whip, 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 whistle and whiz was their slogan or whatever. We used to wear those out like crazy. We lived on a ravine and down 
I don't know how we, we all, none of us got killed doing that. Um, so these are original artworks. These are, these Western themed ones, those are originals. Come and pay close attention to those. Don't discount them just because they're over here. I don't want you to think that, that they're lesser. These are great, great pieces and the whole room is surrounded with them. And yet another room. This is filled with artwork. Filled with, there's, there's Haida, there's, there's, uh, there's uh, uh, vintage etchings around the corner here. There's original artworks, there's modern sort of artsy pieces, there is uh, multimedia, there is four vintage uh, Webers over here dating back six, uh, 52, 53, uh, there's good vintage pieces over there, there's, there's wood blocks here, wood cuts there, there's watercolors, there's abstract, there's you know sort of fun maps, and again back into the uh, native theme, Eskimo theme. Um, don't discount it. Is all is all I can say. <coughs> Oriental pieces here, some watercolor, some silk pieces, uh, the sort of thing that you see. So just to recap, uh, you know, again, there's a lot more square footage that we're covering here. So just gotta try and keep it keep it rolling here. I just want to make sure I get the dates right so I don't mess you up. I threw it away. There, there it is. So the actual sale itself is Sunday, January 27th. That's 2019. And that's going to start at 11 o'clock in the morning, lot number 1 to 700. But there's only about 450 lots. There's a lot of missing lots in there. Uh, doors will open at 10 on that one. Monday the 28th, you can view everything. You can view everything on the Friday the 25th from 4 till 8, including, of course, this room. Then this room you'll be bidding on at that time, this whole room, this whole half. And then starting at 6 o'clock on Monday the 28th, starts to close in order. And you can kind of bid right then and there as you're going along. But there's no auctioneer or whatever. It's just the interface. So if you have any questions, give us a call. 451, well, it's area code 70-451-4549. Watch the website, wardsauctions.com. The address is 11802 145th Street, Edmonton, Alberta. I think I've kind of covered it all. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you at the sale.